am, will I wait till my change comes? I know my change is coming. You can be laughing now, but I know that my change is coming. <laughs> the, the only issue on his profile is he was a deadly giver. <laughs> I know my change is coming. Oh, you have confidence. Proverbs 19, 25. I know that my redeemer lives. You can be laughing me to scorn, but I know what I know. <laughs> I know my redeemer lives and is bringing my change about. Hallelujah. And they that are confident in God shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. That cannot be removed, but abides forever. Nothing has power to cut short your life as a man and a woman that is committed to the covenant of giving and receiving. Not permitted. <laughs> Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God among others with your finances and he shall bless your bread and your water. If you are not a giver, you are not permitted to prosper. So to bless your water, bless your water means you are serving God with your resources. I will take sickness away from you. You are not permitted to be barren or cast a young in the land. The number of your days I will fulfill. Now watch. It began with bread and water because that's what giving primarily provides. But the other fringe benefits are those ones listed. You can't understand that and be thinking that somebody is playing on your life. You can't understand that and be thinking that somebody is taking advantage of you. I was not a pastor of a church when I knew it. Amen. My God. Ooh. That's how much is loaded in the covenant of giving and receiving. Giving and receiving. Giving and receiving. Don't, don't get me wrong. You can't buy God's power with money. But God is a covenant keeping God. When you keep his covenant, the free benefits becomes your right. There are the free benefits. Because what are you giving? It's not from what he gave you. Were well, you born with checkbooks? But your obedience entitles you to those fringe benefits. So financial fortune is the cure for all misfortunes. Is the cure for what? Because his blessings makes rich and has no sorrow. Financial fortune in the kingdom is ordained the cure to all of all misfortunes. All misfortunes. All misfortunes. Miscarriage cancel. Barrenness cancel. Sickness cancel. Amen. Untimely death cancel. Man, it has everything. Am my elect shall long enjoy the fruits of their labor. Isaiah 65, 20 to 24. Interesting. A child shall die a hundred years old. Interesting. After Job was restored, he lived another 140 years to enjoy the blessedness of restoration. My God. Now, if you check 2 Corinthians 9, being enriched in all things. <laughs> in all things. So, it's not financial enrichment alone. You are enriched in all things. Enriched health. Enriched business. 
enriched children, enriched peace, being enriched in everything. <laughs> everything. Being enriched in everything. Now, what we had begun. Second Corinthians 9, 6. It said, God loves a cheerful giver. As each one has pro, you know, purpose in his heart, so let him give. <laughs> and God is able to make all grace abound. So that you always having all sufficiency in all things shall abound unto every good work. And he said in verse 10 of it, the same covenant, rolling on and rolling on. He said, now, he that ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Now what? Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through us, thanksgiving to God. Every area enriched through the giving covenant. Enriched family life. No tension. No groaning. No shutting the door and crying. No wiping your face. Somebody open, knocks on the door. <laughs> Unto all bountifulness. My God. Mm. I've been studying this free benefit store for many years. But as I got back on it, and I saw that people need to know in specific terms what these fringe benefits are and how they came to be. Praise God. I'm too sure of long life. <laughs> Many years ago, I saw myself administering the communion. I mean, full grown old age. Long before we came to Lagos. So it's not a yesterday affair. I saw me in an extreme old age. One day I was driving down and he just opened to me what I was doing at 102. Mm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All the devils in here can't stop that. Except the coming of the Lord, which is rapture, a better place for all of us to be. Amen. And we shall be there in Jesus' Amen. name. That's the mystery loaded in the covenant of giving and receiving. I want to buy this tape. Is it tape they call it now or CD? Okay. Or DD. Anything that they call it. Buy this thing and plug your life into it. I've read several private altars of sacrifice in dealing with certain things because I know that that altar is out of supernatural turnaround. You can stop any plague, you can command any assault to cease. From the altar of sacrifice. She may not know, but I know how much sacrifices went in towards her recovery. Praise God. If he shows you the way, you go the way. It's not writing down and preaching it, it's going, going the way. I mean, God could have stopped the plague. Against Israel, but he said, Most uh, David, go and lay an altar of sacrifice. <laughs> Onan said, I'll give it to you for free. He said, Never. I'll never offer unto God that which will cost me nothing. And then the plague ceased. It's time to stop the harassment on your life by knowing why you are doing what you are doing. You know, the church has only been paying time, but they don't know what comes out of it. So yes, they were poorer the more they paid. They got pure poorer because they don't know what is in it. cause of the law is permitted on your life. The price for your liberty has been fully paid. Yes. So, take it by force. Take it by force. And you know how much of sickness is in that list. Broken knees, broken leg, broken heart, broken stop. It's all listed there. But Christ paid fully for you and for me. So it becomes illegal to hold itself to you. You have heard it now. Many of us have been 
on the altar of sacrifice time and again. Many of us have been serving God selflessly over the years. But in case anything is proven tough to turn, then turn it by force. Amen. Then we'll do what? For the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. The violent take it by force. We can't buy the miracle power of God, or we can engage in the covenant of God to commit his integrity to make good his promise. Can I hear your amen? amen. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Now, God is able to recall your sacrifice of the past. He said, the Lord, he had in the day of trouble the name of God of Jacob. You know, do what? Defend thee. Send thee help out of the sanctuary. Remember thy sacrifices and your burnt offerings. So God is able to bring forward your sacrifices. Amen. Amen. Now, in Luke chapter 7 and verse 2, there was a centurion that had a servant that was sick nigh unto death. And he sent the elders of Israel to meet Jesus, to please come and help. And Jesus stood up. You know why? He, had, he loved our nation. He has built us a sanctuary. Jesus said, now, let's go. Now, let's go. That's how he responds to people who are in the covenant of giving and receiving. Now, let's go. Now, let's go. Now, let's go. <laughs> so they met him on the way and they said, hey, don't disturb uh, the master. The child is dead. Amen. But Jesus stepped in and spoke the word. Where the man said, Look, don't bother yourself. Just speak the word only. My servant shall be made whole. And he was made whole, the self same hour. Somebody's here. Jesus will respond to your issues today. Amen. You can reference your sacrifices. There is a church where people make sacrifices time and again. Just make reference to your sacrifices. Say, Lord, remember now, O oh Lord. That ought I raise. Remember it and get me out of this trouble today. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. He shall not be afraid. Man. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed. Trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He continues giving and giving and dispersing. Yes, Amen. Amen. Every word you truly receive and believe, you are empowered to manifest indeed. Therefore, today is declared your day of long awaited rescue. Yeah. Two more things and then we pray. Thou shalt serve. Among others, you serve him in so many and soul establishing in divorce. <laughs> and a faithful ambassador is entitled to help the living. You are committed to reconciling the world back to God. You are entitled to healthy living. Healthy living. Healthy living. Healthy living. The book of Psalm, I mean Proverbs 13, number 17, and 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and verse 17 to 20. Every ambassador reconciling the world back to God. Everyone reconciling the world back to God is an ambassador of Christ. It's a title to healthy living. John 15, 2. Every branch he made that fears, bears fruit, he prunes. He keeps feet that he may keep bringing forth more fruit. So, so many and so many and divorce entitles you to healthy living. What do I call it? Yeah. Therefore, sickness is illegal in your life. Amen. You are there running around towards cell growth and replication. Sickness is illegal in your life. Amen. You are there on the prayer altar praying for souls to be saved and established in the faith. Sickness is not permitted in your life. 
Can I hear your loudest amen? Nobody goes forward sitting down. You go forward taking steps. You go forward taking steps. You don't go forward waiting. You go forward moving. You don't make moves. You won't change level. So among the profits of soul winning is healthy 